welcome back, Master Teachers and Future Gurus, to a so special for a, another one. I hope you're doing well so far this 2023. Um, this is a calendar monthly report for the month of March. And um, thank you so much for your views. And also, whenever you hear this sound, please pay attention to the notification. And if you have not already, comply. And thank you so very much in advance. We're going to go ahead and get started. I was told to pull two cards for the teacher in you and for the student in you. Okay. For the mature thinker, for the, can I say immature thinker, or the mind that's open to learning. Okay. Because you know the teacher is the student and the student is the teacher. So we're pulling two hmm cards, things you may be thinking about in the month of March. Oh, things Barack Obama is looking forward to. That's the teacher. The student, things that bring you good luck. <laughs> ah, I like that. So, teacher, student, teacher, things Barack Obama is looking forward to. And the student in you, things that bring you good luck. Is this the year for elections and stuff? And I heard that Donald Trump was running again. I think I interpreted that correctly. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of news. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Let's get you an oracle message from the spirit by deck. Master Teacher Scripture Guru, what is going on with you in the month of March? So things are looking up for you. If you're doing good things, okay, there you go. You got the mask. Okay, you got the mask. I don't know if you're wearing a mask, if it's about COVID. We talk about health care. When you think about Barack Obama, he sort of like revolutionized the healthcare system. You may agree, you agree, you may not agree. I don't know. This could also represent a disguise, okay? So this is an oracle message in response to your forecast. This could be a warning or a caveat or uh Telling you what, what's required. I don't know. Let's find out what it what's regarded. L-O-M. Learn or major. Learn or major. Let's turn it this way. On the side of the fish. That you may have to look into. Learn. Or, okay, she said think about. Okay, you're thinking now. All right, you're thinking now. I'm sorry, source. All right. Pull up two cards. Learn or major. Both sides of the brain. The teacher and the student. Business is one. I don't know if you already have a business or you need to think about a business or you know. You need to think business like. Okay, we're going with it. Capricorn, Master Teachers, Future Gurus. And nail technology, this is really big. This has been big in your chart a lot, Capricorn. This uh, The nail technology business is definitely something you're thinking about. A nail business. Not unless it's hammers. <laughs> but it's something about this oracle that I kind of feel iffy about. I don't know, it may come out of these cards because we do have uh, the Deviant Moon deck for you. Okay. And, and let me tell you, I don't choose, I don't get to choose decks because we go back and forth, me and Source, about these decks sometimes. But she knows her business. Okay. So, what's going on? Capricorns, master teachers, future gurus, teachers, business, students, nail technology. So 
some of you are thinking about going and applying for nail technology. That's a good craft to have. It's lots of money in it. We have the Five of Swords this month in March. The Page of Swords this month. Queen of Cups this month. Will of Fortune. And then you have the About Page. In this situation, what's underlining this source? The Page of Pentacles. Some of you are, um, something, something happened. I don't know if something showed up or, hmm. See this vampire type energy in your destiny. That like to come out like you know, bats like they'll come out in the daytime too, you know, but they like dark places. I feel like somebody wants to darken your future because I, I just don't think you give a damn this month. And you just like, whatever, you know. And um, it's like this energy is making noise, banging. It's like, and I don't normally talk like this, but it's real. You know, it's like they want to work their magic on you. I feel like you're turning your back on them. It's got something to do with where you go. Uh, wherever you go, it's like, oh my gosh, kind of energy. Like, oh my gosh, you know, like really? Me too, like <laughs> shit like that. Uh, but you really don't give a damn. You're like, fuck you. Uh, fuck off, fuck you. This She's been in quite a few houses. This is straight astrologically aligned, okay? I don't know who, but this energy right here is fucking with a lot of people. <laughs> it's, it's angry. It's upset. It's, it's like a child. It's, it's upset about something. And although whatever this demon-like bat energy is, a person, it could be in this wheel where you go, uh, somebody that drives a big vehicle, they have like smartness, they have even a type of intuition, but they're so emotional, it's blocked. And it makes them act out, it makes them do things, it makes them be immature. Now this may already be happening in your life and it may not, but it will if it applies to you. Something about luck here though. I'm hearing self-servicing. I don't know. There it is. Self-servicing. You're trying to fix some things this month yourself. I don't know if it's because you don't have the money. You don't want to spend the money. Maybe you spent the money. You're putting it together. Maybe it's an order or something you picked up from the store. that you. But you're self-servicing. You're doing it yourself. And I also see you servicing, assisting other people wherever you're going this month with this baddie ass temperamental, childlike, baddy energy is at. I don't know what his problem or her problem is, but they, they're acting like a child when they should be mature about a situation. I think they drive a big truck, a big vehicle. They drive a big vehicle because this is the this this is the will of four. This is a big vehicle. Big wheels keep on turning. 
Proud Mary, keep on. What? Burning, rolling. That's good. <laughs> Left a good job in the city. Working for the man every night and day. And I never lost one minute of sleep. <laughs> anyway, it's based on, um, like I said, he, was, he could see into some stuff. It's based on some background check or some spying. Because this, this, this person's been spying and watching. Spying and watching. Always lurking. Not looking, but lurking. Okay? <laughs> That's where that mask is at. I said this could be a caveat or, or uh, like a like a warning. Because you said fuck off. I don't give a fuck. But it's something about you that's impressive. And that's what really caught their eye. Like, I don't know what it was that got them attached to you. But it's something about you that's impressive. And they just have to see what it is. They got to understand it, you know. But they acting so bratty and batty and childlike. Maybe they feel that this will bring them luck. Okay. Maybe this is you. I don't know. Things that will bring you luck. That's what you're thinking about. Maybe they think this will bring them good luck. Intuition. They want that intuition. Because you got it. You see what I'm saying? Because you got it. And they want it, god damn it. They want to see what you see. Also, I see you here changing your destiny, getting assistance and changing your destiny. Because um, you feel like this would be where your luck lies is in this, in these fields and business and so forth. And you're checking out their pages. Okay. Or you are establishing this and you are thinking about, um, or maybe it just comes naturally when you're building a website. But this about page is important because you want to really look into what the company is about, what you're getting into, the cost, you know, because uh, you're trying to you're trying to change your world. You want things. You're trying to change your world, your lifestyle. You're trying to change your luck. You're trying to change your luck. You're trying to get people from all around to come and um, patronize your creativity but you got to put the parts together you got to figure it out you got to see how it's going to work you know you got to see how it's going to work now for some of you um this represents health care you're thinking about the business side of business your taxes your health care your 401ks because all of that's on you now your independent contractor when you step into these fields you know but the money is good. I would encourage you to do it, especially if you're business-minded and if you are very artistic. I would say take the chance. And if you're already in it, you know, it, I, I really i am hearing doing your own thing, self-servicing here. So I keep getting self-servicing. You're doing it for you now. You're doing it for you. Okay? You're doing it for you now. Whatever you're doing, you're doing for you now. Because you... You know, you know, you to me, you are the sign of experience. So the more than likely to me, you're already in this. It's kind of like, because I see you walking away. And if you are, you're thinking about it, you're getting ready to. But something is, somebody is bugging you, bothering you. They brat. They're like a child. This month. Yeah, but I see you seeing how you can go about that. Um, I also see where some of you are trying to see how many hours you have left. Like I said, I felt like some of you were already in this craft. So I feel like you want to complete it. You're trying to see how many hours, how long it will last.
how many customers, clients, how many patrons. Like you doing your research like statistics are here. We're going to sum you up with a um, African Goddess Rising Oracle card. See what she has to say to you because... Um, some of you <clears throat> are really carrying on. You know, some of this is just in your blood. I see somebody said they're looking at hair. Okay, so you're also looking into natural hair too. Either you or someone is trying to look into what you're doing. You know, I feel like somebody is probably going to see a psychic, an intuitive, somebody with a strong sixth sense. Whoever this is, this Queen of Cups, she's tr trying to see how to shift shape, shape shift you, or maybe this is what you're trying to do for yourself, shift shape. After getting some information, after gathering some self-serving information. I can just keep feeling like there's something that's very self-serving in this. It could be good, it could be bad, you know. It could be positive, it could be negative. But there's some shift shape shaping here. Shape shifting. Now, one thing she's pointing out to me here, it could be about your... Uh, it could be about weight gain. She, something about she can see that you are shape-shifting or shift-shaping. I don't know why that's important, but it's important. <laughs> and I see that you or them, they're going to handle things very carefully because... For somebody, things is kind of turning for the worse. Because like I said, somebody is temperamental, baddie, bratty. And you know what? I can tell whoever's in this will of fortune, which is supposed to be a good thing. Because somebody is spoiling it. Probably spoiling it for everybody. Like I said, if they could get out of their emotions, because this, this to me, this oracle message is like somebody's covering up who they are, but yet they're making a lot of noise. You know, they're temperamental. They want to fight. They acting like they acting like a pure ass child. That keeps being pointed out to me in this month's forecast because of something that some information that they got I don't know if they dug it up themselves or they just somehow saw it and it captured their attention it's like they are attached to it they can't get it out their mind it's numero umero it's priority priority number one Some of you are going to get a hand or give a hand. This could be in service or it could be in support. Maybe looking into these fields, business, nail technology, whether you're doing it yourself or if you're actually going into an institution and getting these services. But something has to be fixed. Something's got to get done. You want to do it yourself. You want to work it out. And I can... And I definitely know it's got a lot to do with your career.
I see you also carrying some information back that's been gathered. I don't know if this is personal or business. Some of you may have to write a paper about why you want to do something why you want this position, why you want to enter into this service, why you want to walk away. I don't know. <laughs> why you want to enter into this, but this, I don't know. Capricorn. It's your world, squirrel. Let's go ahead and sum it up. I gotta keep going. What's going on with Sun Moon Rising on the cusp? Master teachers and future gurus for the month of March. Who is speaking to you is Queen Ya Asante Wa. Queen Ya Asante Wa. She is the goddess queen of leveling up. Leveling up. You level up. You level up. 39. Hmm. And I definitely see shift shaping. Shape shifting is definitely what you're trying to do level up we're talking about the um the business and the nail technology okay but remember they in reverse this is something you are considering right now this is something you're looking into okay they're in reverse this is the bubble in your brain she's 39 okay caps Uh, it's the temple of queens in the element of the bush. Queen Ya Asante Wa was a mother, farmer, and the warrior queen who led the war of the golden stool. The golden stool throne of the Ashante Empire holds the regent's cra, C-R-A, or cray, life force energy. Queen Ya Asante Wa's guidance is raise your standards. A leap forward for one is a leap forward for the tribe. Your choices can raise the frequency of your community and the planet. <laughs> you know, I'm going back to this angry, temperamental energy. I wonder if that's, you're about to say that I don't know if it's good, I don't know if it's bad. And in some strange way, maybe that's why he's trying to get your attention because he feel you can do something. Because I told you he's seeing you can, something you can do that attached to it. But you're just blowing it off. The fuck? Maybe you don't know. Uh, your choices can raise the frequency of your community and the planet. The embodiment is time to level up. This is your season for a quantum leap. Oh, Quantum Leap was in someone else's house. If I can recall, I will put that in the description box for you to cross-reference. Quantum Leap. I don't know if it was Virgo. I'll find out. Time to level up. This is your season for a Quantum Leap. You have prepared for this. Life does not have to be linear and neither does growth. A Quantum Leap feels drastic and huge, just like this Wheel of Fortune. But the secret is that quantum leaps happen little by little. So what inspired action helps you level up? That's what you got, that bubble in your head. Connecting to spirit with rituals, movement, meditation, and visualization is a great start. The goddess declaration is divine timing is on my side. Will of Fortune. And this is supposed to be trying to rush you to do it. But this is divine time and fate. You know, whether you like it or not. Because the Most High is all about right timing, right? And you are ruled by that planetary power. And that's Saturn. You are the house of time. Okay? Saturn rules your house. And he, he decides when it's time for your good fortune. But I feel like somebody's it's some something somebody wants to get your attention about something. You know, and for some others, this person may think 
I mean, I don't know if they think like that, but they, but we, that's what we use here in spiritualism is it's, this person thinks they're a bit of a magician. They think they, they running shit. Okay. Well, if that's what you want, that's what you get stories. You got two written words of wisdom. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. That's Der Derek Bach. That's what you're looking into. <laughs> Okay. You want to know the business, right? Level enough. Sometimes people don't want to hear the truth because they don't want their illusions destroyed. And that's the great Frederick Nietzsche. And I'm going to leave it there. Um, master teachers and future gurus until another one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember this notification sound. If you have not already complied, please do so now. And blessings. Peace and love.